now we discuss about this cultivation of anaerobic bacteria and these anaerobic bacteria are of two types first one these aerotolerant anaerobic bacteria and obligate or the strict anaerobic bacteria this anaerobic bacteria this does not require or this not grow in presence of the oxygen these are the anaerobic bacteria this aerotolerant anaerobic bacteria these are those bacteria these tolerate the oxygen and these grow in presence of the oxygen without utilizing the oxygen these are the aerotolerant anaerobic bacteria the second type of this anaerobic bacteria these are obligate or strict anaerobic bacteria and these grow in present in a total absence of the oxygen these are the bacteria which are not growing in presence of the oxygen this grow in total absence of this oxygen example clostridium species these obligate anaerobes are of three types first one or these are three groups of microorganisms first one a wide variety of the prokaryotes number 2 fungi and number 3 few protozoa these obligate anaerobic bacteria belonging to the genus clostridium these are gram positive endospore forming rod shaped or bacilli bacteria present in soil lake sediments intestinal tracts and mainly these are responsible for the spoilage of canned foods some methanogens as methanosarcina methano cladomonococcus methano planus methanospirillum and many other archaebacteria sulfate reducing bacteria as disulfibrio disulfomonas disulfococcus disulfonema these are and hemoacetogenic bacteria and many of the bacteria inhibit are this present in animal gut as clostridium bacteroids are the obligate anaerobic bacteria then we see the different methods of cultivation of anaerobic bacteria as special anaerobic culture media next anaerobic chamber anaerobic bags or pouches and next one anaerobic jars first we discuss the special anaerobic culture media or pre reduced media these are used for the cultivation of anaerobic bacteria in this the oxygen it is removed from the medium and this is the simplest method this the oxygen it is also removed by the different methods the liquid medium it is firstly boiled in keeping in boiling water bath for 10 minutes and this removes the dissolved oxygen in the medium and this medium it is added with the reducing agent as i to 16.1% ascorbic acid 0.1% sodium thioglycolate 0.1% these are added and these are the reducing agents this lower the oxygen content this oxygen free nitrogen it is also bubbled through the medium here this oxygen free nitrogen it is bubbled through the medium and this also maintain the anaerobic condition then this medium it is filled in a tube and this is stoppered tightly and this is sterilized by autoclaving and this can be stored for several months before using and here the tubes are continuously 
flushed with oxygen free carbon dioxide by the gas cannula and here the inoculation it is done that is the bacterial inoculation it is there by the pasture pipette this cooked meat broth and this called previously as robertson's bullock heart medium and this is the special place in anaerobic bacteriology thioglycolate broth and its modifications are also useful for the cultivation of anaerobic bacteria the inoculum of this bacteria it is introduced deep in the medium in contact with the meat these meat particles are placed in 30 ml bottles to a depth of 2.5 cm and covered with about 15 ml broth and these are used for the growth of the anaerobic bacteria as brucella blood agar bacteroids bile asculin agar phenyl ethyl alcohol agar canamycin blood agar these are some of the media which are used for the growth of anaerobic bacteria and these anaerobic bacteria have special nutrition requirements for vitamin k hemin and yeast extract and these are the three ingredients used for the isolation of anaerobic bacteria next anaerobic chamber this is the anaerobic incubation system and this provides oxygen free environment for inoculating the media and incubating cultures this is refers to the plastic anaerobic glove box and this is having the atmosphere of hydrogen carbon dioxide and nitrogen there is an inner air lock with inner and outside doors culture media are placed within the air lock with the inner door and this air which is there it is removed by the vacuum pump at the same time this nitrogen it is flushed inside the chamber then the culture to the main chamber this contains the in atmosphere of hydrogen carbon dioxide and nitrogen a circulator it is fitted in the medium and this circulates the gas atmosphere through the pellets of palladium and here this oxygen which is there it reacts with the hydrogen and produce the water and in this way there is formation of anaerobic conditions inside the chamber if the carbon dioxide if it is present inside the chamber it is the uh, ingredient which support the best growth of the bacteria next one anaerobic bags or pouches are there these are also giving the anaerobic bacteria growth and these are available commercially and these pouches have oxygen removal system and the catalyst as palladium calcium carbonate it is also there this also produce the anaerobic co2 rich atmosphere the plates are inoculated with the culture and these are placed in the bag and the oxygen it is removed removed and there is sealed the pouches or the bags and incubated and the plates are removed for the observation or the study of the colonies without exposing the colonies to the oxygen <coughs> next one anaerobic jars or this gas bag anaerobic system this is also one of the method which is used for the cultivation of this anaerobic bacteria and these are best studied 
and this mostly widely used anaerobic jar this is the mintosh fights anaerobic jar and this is the cylinder vessel and this is made up of this glass or the metal and this lid it is firmly fixed by using the clamp the lid having two tubes one acts as the inlet and other acts as the outlet there is the one carrier it is there and which is having the palladium here and this act at room temperature for the conversion of hydrogen and oxygen into the water this palladium pellets act as a catalyst and when the socket it is dry it is acting as a catalyst these inoculated plates are placed inside the jar and the lid it is clamped tight and this is outlet which is there this is the outlet it is connected to a vacuum pump and this air or the oxygen which is there it is evacuated the lid it is closed tightly and there is hydrogen supply it is there this hydrogen gas it is mixing with this oxygen and formation of this water in this way the plates are incubated and this there is one indicator it is also there that is a methylene blue this is general blue when it is placed in the anaerobic environment this is reduced and the color of this methylene blue changes to colorless that is a reduced form blue co compound and this indicates the anaerobic conditions are generated inside the chamber thank you for your listening